I just don't know anymore. Apparently, uh, um, apparently I have been having troubles and all that kind of shit. So far it hasn't even been such a great year, because <sighs> with the customer service supervisor yelling at me and then my ex-girlfriend saying that she doesn't want me anymore, that's just ridiculous and that put me through a lot of anger and hate and now she said that we never broke up which I don't think I should trust that at all cause she did so me Like when we started ta to talk again, it was just all out. She she asked me how my girlfriend was doing. I was like, I was like, I hope she's doing okay. And then she's like, that's good. But then I realized later on that, that she wasn't. That it wasn't her that she was talking about, it was someone else. See, the first message she sent me was on the 31st. The 31st of the previous year. So at the end of last year, saying Happy New Year. And then we, like on Sunday, started talking. And that was my birthday. I was like, hey, she, listen, I said, hey, she says, hi. What's up? You know who this is, right? I was like, Kelsey. And she asked me how I know that. And I was like, that's a lucky guess. Strange enough, it's happening on my birthday. She says, okay. And I asked her how she's been doing. She says, great. I was like, that's good to know. Huh, how about you? I've been terrible. She asked me why. And of course she's like lots of things I said lots of things have been happening like me getting yelled at by one of the customer service supervisors and me not feeling good now. And that was Sunday but I feel better now. So Monday. I meant Tuesday. Today's not Monday, today's Tuesday. For God's sake. I'm being an idiot right now. <sighs> I guess my brain is not working anymore. She says, oh, okay. And I was like, at least you're doing okay. She says, yeah. And I asked her how's work going for her, and she's just like, work. So, and I said, okay then. And she asked me, how's your girlfriend? And I said, I hope she's doing okay. She said, that's good. And, and then later on, she says, and later on, I, s I said, 
It'll be better if I didn't have to be so so depressed. Then later I said I love you. Then I said hey. And then I said I love you again. And she says nothing special. And I said it figures that you would say that. So I guess you asked me how my girlfriend's doing because you thought I had another girlfriend or what? And she said I D K. I said all I wanted was a girl to love, but now I believe in nothing else but me, but we all choose our own paths and we are what we are. She says, true, but I go insane. Now that I don't have a girlfriend anymore, I could just stay single for the rest of my life. And she says, oh, okay. And I said, this will be the last conversation we'll have, I promise that. She says, oh, okay, if you say so. I said, besides, I'm not important to you anymore. She says, K. In fact, I'm important to no one. I'm just a nobody now. Then I said, uh, and then right after that, I said, goodbye, Kelsey, forever. I will now block her number. And she said, don't do that. I was like, why should I? It's not like you care. And she, said, and she said, never mind, it's not important. And I asked her if she had any last words. She said, I don't know. Then I said, okay, because I will be blocking a number. She then says, just keep it. I'm like, keep what? She says, hold on. Um... Then I go and say, numbers are blocked, and I will hate you forever, and you just had to ruin my life even more, and one last thing, I wish we never met, I'm glad, I'm glad I blocked you, and you can block me too if you wanted to. <sighs> and then, and then, the call plus SMS filter. There are some blocked numbers. I mean messages. Um. Seven twenty nine on Monday. She says hi. Then she says, "Well, I love you. I never broke up with you. Oh well. Hi and no." Oh my gosh, my neck. <sighs> and this time I'm not using the um, Wii video because that's going to take way too much time. So, And I don't feel like wasting the, my entire time just getting everything all set up for it. And I originally planned to do some projects, but this time it's not going to happen. And we're already almost nine minutes in the video, so... <sighs> Just stop yawning. <sighs> I never felt so terrible in my life since not sure when actually. <sighs> but yeah, all that she said really hurts me. A lot. And now I just believe that I can't trust her anymore. But oh well. I choose to be single then. That's fine with me.
I'm just going to be quiet for a moment, so I'll get back in a moment. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, what, what would you guys do if you tell your girlfriend that you love them and then and then they either say, like, okay, and nothing special And, and they're talking about, like, asking about your girlfriend or anything like that. Because for me, I probably just won't tolerate with it. I just won't, I just won't bother. I won't continue to go through with that. I'll just end a relationship. Now, I'm talking to a girl like Kelsey is going to be a pain in the ass. But I just won't, but I just won't tolerate with that anymore. started to talk, talk, it just started like we weren't together anymore. And then later she went on saying that Hold on, I forgot. No one saying that we never broke up. That's just plain wrong. Just to say that just to make it sound like you're, um, that you two aren't together anymore, and then later on you find out you're still together. And then I just blocked her. Because I just can't handle ev everything like that anymore. Again, I'm going to be quiet because sometimes I just hate to hear myself talk. And yes, I did say that I hate to hear myself talk. So I can throw a video that I hardly get any views on. Oh, oh well, this is not going to be so important anyway. Well, I might as well just keep this video as... what I'm talking about instead of like saying that saying anything about me having a new 
games and everything. I'll probably do that in another video or something. But right now I'm just going to keep it with what I'm talking about. I would, I would like to show you guys my consoles too, but apparently it's just going to be taking way too long just to unhook them and then show you guys the consoles and then uh, put them back and reconnecting them. So I'll just like buy myself a video ca camera or something to show everything and then get that ready. Oh man, I feel so tired. I don't know why I chose to record right now. Because I haven't recorded in a while until that new video is called um, Austin's New Recording. Which is the video with me doing something on we video instead of on YouTube. And that that video also has a song playing in the background. And I and also in the video, I said that um, there's probably nothing I can do to change the audio volume. But I actually did find out that um, you can do that. You just have to look for it. The reason why it was um, so loud was because the volume was all the way up to a hundred. So if you guys are watching that first uh, video, I would warn you because that volume's all the way up on a hundred. So that's going to be a big downside right there. Yeah, I celebrated my birthday two days ago. And boy, I had some cake, chocolate cake, bread cream, and of course, with chicken fried. Um, uh, chicken fried, uh, yeah, chicken fried, chicken fried chicken with mashed potatoes and corn. Yeah, that was so good. I love fried chicken and fried steak, burgers and everything. Yeah, I like everything. I like everything except for uh chimichangas and the burritos like the main burritos I mean I like I like burritos but just not like the ones that we have in the freezer um let's see and, and Cajun meat pies. If you don't know what Cajun meat pies are, um, they look like a D. Um, and it's a pie. 
and there's going to be some meat in it, as it says in the title, Cajun meat pie. So the meat is Cajun meat, and it's a pie. So, um, yeah, I'm not too much of a fan of what the uh, Cajun meat pies because they taste like cardboard. Of course, IHOPs. Um, hash browns were not that good either. Like when back in when we went to Garland, that was really ridiculous. Um, trying to think. Yeah, the hash browns, believe it or not, tasted like rubber tire. That was ridiculous. I just did not like that at all. Oh, great. Okay. It's only been over 21 minutes. I'm still talking. Great. It's only 307 and everything. Get two more days before my money comes in. Yeah, I, I really need that money because I really got to get that 3DS fixed. Of course, I can't do anything about it right now. And if I don't message Nintendo by the 19th, uh, they will send my 3DS back. and not get it fixed at all. What happened was that I was at work and I, I was using it to um, check my time to say like what time it was but as soon as I flipped it open and turned on the power it falls right out of my hands and, and into the toilet. Um, Yeah, so, so, yeah, it's been messed up, so I sent it in for a pair, and I need a hundred twenty-five dollars, and I have nothing on my card left, so that's gonna be shizzle. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's going to be it for this video because there's not going to be anything else to talk about because I already talked about uh, what happened at work and uh, what happened to my 3DS and what I, why I'm waiting for my money to get here and what happens if I don't get my and what happens if I don't reply by the 19th? And also talking about my ex-girlfriend and everything. That's bullshit. <sighs> yeah, whatever I found out that she did it really lovely though I feel like a lot of hate and anger with my heart like shattered into a million pieces and everything well before that it was like stained if you if you have watched Yu-Gi-Oh's if you have watched Yu-Gi-Oh's Zexel um, you should know what I'm talking about by stained, but if not, um, basically what it's meaning by stained, like, there's just so, um, some kind of blot on there that, uh, keeps you from 
and doing the things you do so you just get all depressed and everything. <laughs> so yeah, and, and this video is just about half an hour. So this has been a pretty long video since I don't know when, but that was just like about uh, an hour long. And there's no way I'm going to be able to keep that up because there's not going to be anything for me to show you around here. And my back hurts and everything. And I've been watching some movies lately. Uh, rock. I've been watching Dragon Ball Z, Battle of the Gods, Yu Gi Oh! 3D, Bonds Beyond Time, and Guardians of the Galaxy. That's all I've been watching so far. Haven't watched the Lego movie yet. That's like the only thing I haven't watched. But Guardians of the Galaxy is pretty funny movie, and so is the Lego movie. Uh, Bonds Beyond Time is pretty cool, too. Uh, apparently they'll be making a sequel to Guardians of the Galaxy in 2016. Uh, which is not until next year. Um, I'm actually pretty much looking forward to that. <laughs> well, I said everything I could, so, uh, this is awesome signing off and see you next time.